Now I've glued up a little patch on that. A little bit rough and ready. Um, made it from a scrap of horn beam that I'd kept. Always keep your off cuts. I'll sort of ask back down and see how it goes. I mean, it's in, could be a lost cause, but it didn't take me long. We'll see. Glued it with the old and tight bond three. <laughs> I'm just roughing the patch out to shape. I've got a nice half round rasp made by Barco, Swedish, they're very good. I quite like a half round one, it's just that gentle curve lets you get into odd corners. As I said, this is all a bit rough and ready, but we'll see how it goes. Bearing in mind I had a lot of draw weight to remove, and we'll hopefully be alright. That's where the thinnest part is, that's where I'll leave most meat on the pack. Right, it's probably blended it in enough to see if it's actually going to work. That's had a good um, 24 hours. And I've cleaned it up a bit more with me. Half round bastard file and my flat cabinet rasp. That gives you a sort of idea of where I sort of thickened up that weak point. Obviously got too much wood there still. And I've still got that ugly, ugly bit of deflex there. But the overall shape is a little bit more similar, a bit more symmetrical. Well, let's see if it will survive my bit of half arsed bending there. I've scraped the bark off the back there just really to see if there's anything to see. I don't suppose it'll affect the draw weight, but the bark is pretty hard. I've also had a bit of a rasp and a draw knife trying to ease some of the weight off here. How overstrained will that bit be where I patched it? Is it going to go bang? Do I care? Well there's the 40 pound, it hasn't gone bang. And now actually that left limb's looking a bit weaker. So that's looking quite a nice shape. So I think we can say no harm done. Let's just see what the draw length is at that notional 40 pounds. 40 pounds at 20 inches. I heard a couple of little crickling crackles there, but that's probably is just the bark. So I think it's probably going to survive. And it'll make a stunningly beautiful bow. No, it's never going to be a thing of great beauty. But um, what was that very thin point? I mean, it's still pretty thin. But I've taken some of the bulk off this big swirl here. But you saw this deep ridge here. And if I take wood off the belly to make that less thick, what will happen is it will narrow it. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, but we don't want to go too narrow. But, um, I'm trying to be sympathetic to the, to the way the grain's flowing. You know, I'm not just sticking a ruler up it and making it ramrod straight. But we'll probably get there. I think I'll stick to 40 pound draw weight. Going any higher would be. I'm trying to take the string off here. Would be taking the mick. What did I say? 20 inches, 40 at 20. 40 divided by 20 equals. Two, of course it does, doesn't it? 40 divided by 20 uh, is two. Therefore, at 27 pound draw weight, it would be two at 27 pounds draw length. It would be two times 27, which would be 54. So we haven't got too much. You've got to say, you know, 10, 15 pound to take off, which isn't bonkers. I'm cleaning the bark off this other limb. 
using a nice little um, draw knife made by a mate of mine, Mick Maxson, who makes some incredible pattern welded steel for you know sort of swords and things and Lord knows what. Very skilled bloke. He just did that for me as a as a gift. It was originally straight across here, but I bent it back just to give me a bit more control in this axis. But it's great for you know, nibbling round sort of curved areas. There we go. So I'm trying not to nick the actual wood. Just get the bark off. I don't suppose the bark was adding anything to the stiffness of the bow but it'll look a lot nicer when I've got it all off and I can clean it up get some sort of finish on it probably just get polished up with a bit of beeswax or something I'm not a great one for staining wood in fact I greatly dislike it and if you want to stain something to look like oak, why not use a bit of oak in the first place? Put each to his own. Yeah, it's just about got it all cleaned off. The scraper will take care of the rest. Reduce the weight of this upper limb a little bit. Carefully sort of getting a feel for thick areas, mostly just by running my fingers along there. A little bit thick there, a bit thick here. I'll just rasp a bit of weight off it. Maybe narrow it a tad. Right, that's done, just done a little bit more fiddling, taking the bark off there. And I've tended to just round the belly slightly, so I've got a more even, very narrow edge here. Let's just have a quick look at this, then that will probably do for the for this video. Oh, that's looking quite sweet now, isn't it? Very sweet. About 21 inches. Left little weak still, but looking pretty good. And I've gained an extra inch of draw just taking the bark off, rounding the belly slightly. Belly this side's very flat. This side I've rounded it a bit. Uh, just working the edges. Of course now I can take the slightly curved centre off it, flatten it a bit, gradually inch that draw length back to the 27. Just a bit fiddly to get the string off. But there we go. Overall shape. Still pretty good. Looks a bit prettier than it did originally. Unlike my good self, 